Yeah, boy, boy, you know what time it is. It's a TLV Sports Talk Show. We talk sports, we talk life, we make you visible. We're down here in Maryland, that's right. And I got between me two guys, two big hitters from Trenton, New Jersey. That's right, you all to know. If you're from Jersey right now, if you're from Trenton, New Jersey, Cap City, you already know who is on film right now. Hey, I'm glad to have with us, that's right, Coach Bill Dockery, straight out of Trenton, New Jersey. Welcome, Bill. Thank you so much, man. Pleasure to be here, bro. And, hey, guess what? Guess who is with us? Uh-huh. Y'all already know. Randy Corker, a.k.a. Big Cheese. That's right. Oh, man. Happy to see y'all, man. I said I'm happy to see y'all, man. Glad to be here. Well, you know what? It's really good to have both of y'all here. Um, y'all had humble beginnings in, in Cap City from, from way back. Uh, tell, tell everybody, Bill, uh, the era that you came up in and uh, school that you went to. Came up in 1970s, 1980s. Um, went to Pennington Prep. That was my high school. And um, remember just wanting to always go to Trenton High where I could be with my friend Randy here. Yeah, well, I guess back in those days, everybody wanted to play with the Big Cheese. Hey, Big Cheese, a lot of people are looking at this video. There's some that are 40 and over, 35 maybe remember uh, those days that you played uh, out in Cabwater Park and you played for Virginia Commonwealth. And we're going to talk about the school that uh, Coach Dockery, who's now Bill Dockery, who is a coach right now down here in the Maryland area. We're going to talk about the school that he came from. But uh, tell everybody uh, just exactly uh, where you played your college ball. I played college ball my first year. I was at Howard Junior College out in Texas. Then I transferred over to VCU and played there from uh, 82 to 84. Okay, so what was your experience like at that level? Was it, was it something that came easy? Did you feel as though that um, playing on the team was, you know, just like everyday music or did you have to work hard? nothing was given but the talent there was superb but I tell you this to be honest man uh, my talent was home right there in Trenton New Jersey so when I got down to VCU I was already prepared to play and when they came on the court I just felt like uh, they wasn't better than me they had to lace up their shoes like me and we got on the court and we did our thing yeah that's that's big cheese that's big talk you know and that's that Trenton talk because they back it up and anybody that knew Big Cheese when he played in the day, uh, he could back it up. Uh, it's, just, it's just phenomenal uh, to see him play and uh, just to hear him right now talk about those things that he did. And he has great knowledge of basketball. He's going to tell you some things about life in a few minutes. So uh, Coach Dockery, Bill Dockery, straight out of Trenton, he wanted to play with Cheese, but uh, he went to another school. What was your college experience and what college did you go to? My college, I went to, I went to several colleges, really. Uh, graduated from Ryder University. Um, also went to Houghton College, upstate New York. That's where I played my college ball at. And there had a wonderful experience. Ended up traveling to Hawaii, Florida, um, California, Canada. It was an awesome experience. Played against some very good talent. Um, we played during the era where a team called Chaminade was beating you know, the big name schools. And um, ended up having big games against them. And uh, it was just rewarding, man. One thing that I always took with me was that desire to represent Trenton when I left. Well, that's a wonderful thing. Can you tell everybody that's watching now how you earn all your degrees and uh, how it means so much to have, like Poppy Sanders says, out, uh, education outweighs it all. And so let everybody know just what you've earned uh, through the course of life. Okay, um, number one I got from Ryder, my bachelor's in um, business and computer science. And then I went on to Houghton, and that's where I got my other bachelor's from. Went on to Coppin State, got a master's there, and went on to Bowie and got a master's there. I always believed that Education is something that nobody can take from you. Common sense on top of education that is learned when applied is something that can never be taken from you. Never can be taken away from you. Big Cheese, I know that you have a, a, a lot of experience in life. 
something that you want to leave uh, the youth that's watching this video now and even some adults, things that you've learned in life. And uh, you, you're an entrepreneur. You own your own business now. Uh, can you tell our, our audience uh, just exactly uh, how they can go about being an entrepreneur and uh, what it takes to persevere? Well, first of all, I think um, just piggybacking on what Doc said, you know, you have to get your education, first of all, even to be an entrepreneur, because you have to know how to count your money, you have to know how to do good business with people. So, therefore, if you have a dream, you stick to your dream and you just go for it, don't give up, you know. Uh, college, some people, they don't finish, but if you have the entrepreneurial spirit, then you can be whatever you want to be. Stay focused to what you're doing and uh, just keep the faith and don't give up. That's a wonderful thing, man. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm getting a little teared up here because uh, it's just an honor to have two icons from Trenton right here in Maryland. We, we just met up. It's not like we met up. We contacted one another and, and we met uh, right here in uh, the Maryland house on Route 95. And uh, it's just kicking old times and talking about old times and uh, talking life, you know. So uh, it, it's just it's great to have you on the air uh, next time, Bill. Uh, uh, bring bring your A game. <laughs> Stays with me. One thing I always believe is that success is potential's greatest enemy. And what I mean by that is that at times people reach a certain plateau in life. And they never really tap into that vast well of, of uh, potential that exists. So that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I suggest everybody else does. That makes life more richer. Yeah, well, thanks for coming on the air. And, and uh, Big Cheese, Randy Corker, I know that you are a winner. And whenever you came on the court, you wanted to win. And so life is, is winning for you. Uh, just... Uh, as we sign off, tell the people about being a winner. Well, um, really, it comes from this. If you have something that, that it is that you want to do, and if you focus on doing it, you never ever make a person feel that or even think that they're better than you in whatever you do. You have people now, Coach Dockery, Randy B, that's in a position. And it's different from when, when me and Doc and a lot of you guys played. They have a great opportunity now. You have kids coming out of Trenton to sign a million dollar contracts playing in the league. And the opportunity is here. You have Randy's making you visible. You have doctors coaching people and, and they are in the they are in the loop of knowing people that can really, really help you. Your only thing that you have to do in order for you to win, stay in your books. Uh, Poppy Samson has a slogan, uh, education outweighs them all. And if you stay in that education and if you can play and if you practice and you sharpen your craft, there's no reason why you can't be successful. Every day that you wake up, you tell yourself that you're going to do something different that day to make you successful. Because the only time that you can wind up being a failure is when you give up. If you keep pushing, you can be successful in whatever you put your mind to. Yeah, that's good advice and that's sound advice and that's wisdom. And so, again, it's just an honor to have Coach Bill Dockery right here to my left, your right, and the AKA Big Cheese, Randy Corker, both of them out of Trenton, New Jersey, and they have told their story. So, listen, until the meantime, in between time, you already know what time it is. Don't get it twisted. It's Randy B saying, we're off like a dirty shirt. See ya.